Hi guys, it is Alisa here, or The Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon. Whatever time it is you are watching this video, I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. Um, a few disclaimers. One, uh, the window's open, so you might hear some cars driving by. And two, my husband is home and he is making noise. But this package came in and I wanted to film a quick video of an unboxing of it for you all. Uh, so hopefully in editing, I can quiet the extra noise a little bit. But uh, bear with me in this video. Um, that is life, right? So this order is from DP with Sparklers. It came in a nice pink shiny envelope uh, that I obviously took everything out of. Um, and then I had this idea that, hey, I should be kind of unboxing this. So here we are. This is a, an order that I went in on with a friend. Um, so there's a few different things here. I'm going to show you all of it. So um, I will show you, let's do her stuff first. So I will show you this. So Deep Blue Sparklers, if you don't know who they are, they are, here's their card. They are a... A shop that carries all sorts of different diamonds, special diamonds that you can use in your diamond paintings to bling them out. Their website is right there, dpwithsparklers.com. She also lists her email there, the owner. We call her Tima in the community or Tina. They also have a Facebook group that's Diamond Painting with Sparklers. I highly recommend you join the Facebook group because that's where you can ask all sorts of questions about blinging up paintings, uh, where, you'll, where you'll get a lot of advice from fellow community members. And she also has a YouTube channel where she goes live now. I think it's every Friday night she goes live. Um, I am an old soul and I cannot stay awake for late night lives so uh, I must say that I'm usually fast asleep but uh, if you're somebody who's awake Friday night and you want something to do or watch uh, head over to her YouTube channel as well this is one of her sets that they put together she sends this really cool washi tape this does it oh yeah it does have something in it but what is it probably a kind of diamond painting wax I don't want to poke around too much because this is not mine Maybe some sort of wax, Karen. You'll have to tell me uh, if this is a diamond painting wax. So this set is called Better Days Ahead. It's a September 2023 limited edition set. I'm not sure if she does it every month, but um, she does do these sets where she'll put together a few different colors or products of her from her shop into these little sets. So this one was called Better Days Ahead. And let's flip it over here. So this is actually AB413. You can really see, this is a good color to see the AB coating on there. So some round AB diamonds. Then there's also a crystal 156, which is a very pale purple color or lilac maybe. I am not good with DMC numbers. The only DMCs I can tell you are 310, 666, and 3371 and 939. <laughs> <laughs> this one I think is a gray crystal 317 there's another crystal here which is 779 which is a very deep um, I would say pink pinky purple oh wow this came with some quad cubes so quad cubes are actually as you can see a bigger diamond and they fit in the space of four um, four regular diamonds on your diamond painting canvas. They can just add something special, something different to diamond painting. I have used them before. I'm trying to think what I used them in. I used them in the diamond painting Periton from Diamond Art Club, and I used them in some of the stars. Oh, this is very cool. It came with some sliverettes, metallic temptation. These look like a metallic diamond. They are very pretty. You can see that different colors kind of bounce off depending on the light. You can see cat hair on this already. <laughs> Sorry if there's cat hair on this. I forgot to vacuum. Um, those are very cool. So I think these take up probably two spaces on your diamond painting. I've not used this kind of special diamond before. I have seen them used though a lot in borders. These Sparklers are my favorite kind of special diamond from DP with Sparklers. They're glass beads instead of resin or acrylic. They're made of glass. I just like like the way they look, especially ones like this that are multicolor. This one's called Mystical, and this one is called, there's no air in here, so I can't really shake this one out. This one's called Velvet Violet. It looks like if, if I do this, <laughs> you get kind of a purpley blue and a, an orangey yellow or goldy color. 
Very cool. Uh, yeah, sparklers are some of my favorite special diamonds to use, especially the ones that have two tones like this. I think that they look so nice in a diamond painting. Let's see what this is. We appreciate you. Every purchase each month qualifies for one entry to win a free item from DP with sparklers. Enter your order number for a chance to win. Awesome. And every Friday night, there we go, at 9 p.m. Central on her YouTube channel, a secret word will be given to qualify for a free minder to be added to your order. That's really cool. I did not know that. It pays to stay up late. <laughs> uh, a cool sticker here. So this is the, what did I say, Better, Better Days Ahead set. I really like that this shop offers different kind of sets. It's really great for a beginner. It can be very overwhelming when you go to their website. She literally has every kind of special diamond you can think of and then some that you haven't seen anywhere else. So the choice, there are tons of choices and she's always coming out with new things as well. Um, so if you're new to blinging out things, I recommend grabbing one of these sets. She has all sorts of different kinds come out all the time. Some uh, are related to specific paintings. Some are related uh, to, you know, specific months, um, all sorts of different things. This is another set. This one is called Rise and Shine. This one came with a little sucker. I'm not sure if this came with this uh, kit or if it was a freebie in the general order because I also had some orders here, but I'm going to pop it in here just in case it did come with this one. These are crowns. So this is something I actually haven't seen before that I think is very neat. It looks like that probably takes up um, three to four spaces, probably four spaces. This is a very vibrant crystal color. You can really see that. So Rise and Shine, this is an April 2023 set. Uh, limited edition. I don't, I assume that she has so many and then once they're sold out, they're sold out. Uh, seeing as we're in, what are we in now? October and this is in April. Uh, very pretty blue crystal AB. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Look at that purpley pink color. Another crystal AB. We've got a green, orange. These are very summery colors. Yellow, very pale yellow and a pink. So yeah, I recommend any one of her various sets. As you can see, you can get a, a few different colors. This package here had a few different options like the sliverettes, crystals, and also I think it had an AB in it, right? Um, she also has sets of sparklers, like sets for specific items like the sparklers or AB diamonds or crystals. Um, so really, um, you really got to go to her website and check her out to see everything she has. As I was listening to the playback uh, during editing of the video, I thought, why don't I just go to the DP with Sparklers website and show you guys uh, a few more things that you can get. I know I've had somebody recently reach out. They weren't sure how to navigate the website. Uh, so I thought, why not do this? So this is the website, dpwithsparklers.com. This is the homepage there. Um, at the top, you see all these little, um, I guess we'll call the buttons, right? Um, if you did not know, she does offer diamond paintings as well. Uh, some of them are crystal, full of crystals. Others are normal. Um, and they are above board as well. But what, what I come to DP with sparklers more for are their special diamonds. And I really actually like how their website is laid out. So this is where I usually go to drills here. And once I just hover over it, you'll see down below three um, subcategories pop up. We've got round drills, special shape drills, and square drills. And as you can see, once we hover over, for example, round drills, we can go over here and we have a whole list of what uh, she offers for round drill diamond paintings, starting with sparklers for glass. Then she has AB drills, bubbles. If you didn't know what bubbles are, they are relatively new on the diamond painting scene and they just add a little bit of a different dimension. It almost looks like a little a water droplet. I've actually used them in a diamond art club painting I did. I think it was called Fuchsia Hummingbird. It's still hanging up on my fridge actually. Um, I really like how it turned out. There's some uh, bubbles in there. Uh, if you want to see them on a diamond painting canvas, just go to the post review section of my YouTube channel. Uh, let's go back. So then you have your crystal ABs, crystal rhinestones, 
So crystal rhinestones usually are uh, just like a plain color. So for example, this is 3815. Now something to note when you are doing, you want to swap out some special diamonds is you might not always find a match. Meaning, you know, you may need a different DMC number on your canvas, but this is the closest match in color. Uh, so that's kind of how I buy my special diamonds. I don't necessarily look for the exact DMC. I look for uh, a, the closest uh, color possible that matches. Um, they also have glitter drills. Now these kind of glitter drills are actually the, the ones with the little gold specks on top, as you can see. So in the community, when you hear glitter drills, this is usually what that refers to. Uh, they've actually come out with some brand new um, special diamonds. I'm just going to skip a few here uh, called Pixie Dust here. Now Pixie du Dust is their version of the fairy dust diamonds that we see at, for example, Diamond Art Club. Um, in, and you're actually see, starting to see them now in other sh shops as well. Uh, some people are changing the name to be uh, unique and individual. Uh, so Pixie Dust is basically the Fairy Dust Diamonds from Diamond Art Club. You can see that they have a very subtle, shiny glitter effect on the top and the coating matches the DMC color. So this one is pink. And if we were to go back and click the, the uh, teal one, you can see that it kind of matches as well. Um, after this little clip, we are going to see some of their fairy dust diamonds so we can see the quality. Uh, those are, the, I think, the newest ones she's added to her shop. But to, anyway, she also has glow diamonds. So glow drills are ones that will glow uh, in the dark. Some glow drills, they will work under normal lights. You know, you have the lights on all day and you click them off and your painting glows. Other ones, you actually need a black light. So when you're looking for glow drills, if you want the ones that you know, your house lighting will um, charge them. And then when you turn your lights off, you can see it glow. Make sure you're reading the description. And if the description isn't clear, ask the small shop owner um, if they glow under natural light or if you have to buy a special UV light. Um, I personally would prefer glow drills that uh, glow with natural light, right? They also have metallic drills, metallic, um, And then neon. I'm just going through this so you guys can see. They also have pearls for rounds. So these are big pearls. They're technically half pearls here. It looks like they take up four spots on your diamond painting. I've actually not used these, but um, they would look good, for example, in jewelry. And if you didn't know, she also sells plain drills. Um, there's not too many in this category right now and quad cubes. So this is another one she offers for round diamond paintings. When you are buying special diamonds, it is important to note um, if they're for rounds or squares, because if you did not know, square diamond paintings, the, the square uh, spaces are 2.5 millimeters, and with rounds, it's 2.8. So there is a difference. So if you, if you buy uh, quad cubes, but they're four squares, it might not quite fit. They might be too small on your round diamond painting or vice versa. Uh, they might be too big uh, if, if you bought rounds for a square diamond painting. So make sure you are noting uh, what which uh, they are for. And um, here is an example of a quad cube. Again, they take up about four spaces on a diamond painting. Uh, let's quickly look at their special shape drills. So these are uh, outside of the normal big bling uh, looks like she has these huge diamonds that probably also cover up uh, four spaces. She has big bubbles as well. So those kind of water drop diamonds and big sparklers as well. So she's got lots of big ones. I, I haven't used uh, much of that to be honest. And then here she has it separated. So big bling for round, big bling for square, uh, big sparklers for square, pearls for square, and then quad pearls. What's that? Oh, cool. So you can get square uh, pearls as well. And then these are, um, I would say, specific to this shop. I haven't seen them anywhere else. You get these little sliverettes, which take up two spaces, I believe. And you can also get, um, this is the one set that I just showed you. And they also have these ones, which are slivers, which I've seen in borders. Um, 
to add something different. They take up, I think it's three or four spaces. And she's got lots of colors there. Uh, and then when you go to the square drills, this menu is a little bit different. So again, she has bubbles for squares. These are going to remain round, uh, but they're a little bit bigger as we said, uh, or sorry, a little bit smaller as squares measure 2.5 instead of 2.8 millimeters. So um, it does make a difference when you're purchasing them. You've got your crystal rhinestones, your glitter, your jelly. Jelly is kind of like, I don't really actually know how to describe it, but here you can you can see it here jellies are semi transparent hence the name so there we go they're semi transparent diamonds which means i think you might be able to see some of the symbols on the canvas maybe uh depending on what color the jelly diamond is uh, i could be wrong though if you've used jelly diamonds let, let me know in the comments of the video uh pearls for squares as well again as you can see she's put the measurement here 2.5 so it matters because um the size difference right and these one this is actually really nice um i might add this to my next order i think it would look really good for uh, paintings with jewelry right uh, my go-to is always these sparklers i really like them because they're made of glass they're high quality uh, there's no scratches on them and i like colors like this that are kind of two-toned depending on the way the light hits it i think it adds something really special to diamond painting so that's kind of my favorite one uh, let me know down below what your favorite special diamonds are um, to uh, bling up your painting with. And of course, here's all the other ones. Again, their square pixie dust is the same, just in square shape. Um, and then over here, she also lists uh, her new things. So if we were to click October, here's all the new products she added to her website this month. Next to that are sets. So uh, border sets, if we click on that, it's going to take us to this. This is something she developed where she uses these quad cubes and then I believe some regular uh, diamonds to create a border. And if we click there, there we can see that. So it's a border en border enhancement set. And it looks like um, for this one, they've done it based on the Eternal Love by Diamond Art Club and artist Micah Jelena. And it tells you there what to expect in your kit. What is this one? One is round and one is square. Go back to the sets and then we're going to see enhancements. This is interesting and this is new. So um, let's do enhancements by company and see what happens. So what they are offering is um, they choose diamond paintings. Um, let's do a diamond art club since <laughs> we all recognize those images. How about this one? This is a popular one. So they pick certain diamond paintings from certain companies and her and another friend sit down and they plan out the special diamonds. They chart them for you and they actually tell you. So as you can see here, this has this package has all of this starting from up here at the square ABs going down all the way to the bottom here of bubbles down here. And um, it will tell you exactly where you're swapping them out. So. If you're new to blinging out diamond paintings, I recommend trying one of these enhancement sets. I actually did purchase one. Um, it's not in this unbox. Is it in this unboxing? Yeah, I think it is in this unboxing. <laughs> Once we continue on the video and I will show you, I actually got, um, and let me, let me actually see if that one is here. There it is. So I actually got this enhancement set. Oops, I didn't want to add it to my cart. I want to see it. Here we go. So this is a diamond painting that um, that I have in my stash that I thought would look good with some bling, but I wasn't quite sure uh, where to put bling because you know I, I might do I might have if I did it on my own in the pink and purple flowers, but even in the sunflowers, like how to chart that so it looks nice. Maybe the water and can the birds. I'm not quite sure. So when I saw Tima had this enhancement set I did buy it and in it includes all of these and she tells me exactly where to put them she has links down here to the uh, products that are going to be in the package and the nice thing about these sets is you don't have to go through an order or find each color you need and add it to your cart you just add this set and then it's already bundled up with all of these things that we need so um, I really like that. I am just going to click this link to instructions on page. There we go. So if you click that, 
uh, in the listing, it's going to tell you here for the entire canvas. So for example, number four, 155, we're going to put in uh, the DP with sparklers round AB 3746 instead. So it tells us exactly here what to do. So I would print this out and um, have it beside me when I'm working on the diamond painting. Um, the other thing that they do are limited edition monthly sets. So um, I assume, I haven't confirmed, but I assume that these limited ed edition sets are up uh, until they sell out. For example, um, she has an October uh, here. We saw an April in the unboxing. Um, as I said, she also has sets that are specific to one diamond instead of the ones I showed you where she has a few different products. For example, this one is a round glitter set too. So we have all glitter diamonds. That's the glitter with the gold flex on top. And then she has other things like here. That's a May set, August set, April set, May set. So we have lots to choose from here. Um, let me go here so specialty drills when we click that one she has a few different things here so you can get a big container of quad cubes you can get um, a set of starburst this is another uh, fancy diamond that i've not used myself you can see it has a little starburst on that that's very neat and then she has big bubbles here uh, what I wanted to show you down here is the starter sets. So if we click starter sets, and I actually started with one of these when I um, was new to, to exploring, blinging out my canvas. So for example, here she has an AB drill starter set for round diamonds. So she's choosing probably the most popular colors in round diamonds in this set. So if you love ABs, you can buy this set and get a little bit of every color. Um, let me go back. She also has one for square ABs. Then as you see here, there's uh, glitter for round and square. And uh, set number two, which probably is different colors. This is one thing I've purchased from her is a crystal set of 175 colors. It is on my channel, probably under Small Shop Haul uh, unboxings because I'm pretty sure I unboxed this. Um, 175 colors, there's a little bit of each. So you can really, um, dabble in blinging out your canvas with all different shades of color. She even lists all of the numbers to expect in this set. Um, so if you're new, you like crystals, I recommend getting this. Um, you'll have lots of crystals for quite a while. Next to that, Sparklers mini set uh, for seasons. So she does sets based on um, times of year as well. This one is all different seasons. So she's picked colors that match the different seasons. And then this is another thing that I purchased was uh, the sparkler set. Now sparklers are different than crystals. Crystals are usually resin or I think they're actually acrylic. Um, and sparklers are glass, so they look different on a canvas. I, I personally will reach for sparklers before I reach for crystals. I just like how, how um, kind of perfect they look. Uh, so I did start with one of these sets and again, you get a fair bit uh, of a few different colors and she lists all the colors here uh, to try blinging out your canvas. Um, I find this is the least overwhelming when you're new to blinging out your diamond painting and purchasing from DP with sparklers is to try some of these sets. They've got the sparklers, they've got glitter, they've got ABs, they even have the new pixie dust, which again is uh, the fairy dust diamonds. As you can see, she also does kind of color sets. This one is the primary colors. Then this one is neutral colors. We've got Earth Day colors, um, Fit for a King purple colors. So if there's a painting that, you know, has all pinks and you want to bling, or sorry, all purples and you want to bling it out, you can get that set. Let me just scroll. Yeah, all sorts of different color sets here. So that's it for kind of showing you how to navigate this website. Um, Checking out is very easy. Let's just click our cart. So as a Canadian, when you're looking here, everything is in US dollars. So remember that shipping to Canada, I think it comes out to about, let's see if it pops up. I think it's 20 something dollars. I don't want to enter my information, so it's not going to pop up. I'm pretty sure it's 20 something dollars. It's hit or miss if you, if you get duties on uh, your package. I think I explained in the rest of this video that we did get dinged with duties this time. Anyway, let's go back to the unboxing.
This is another neat thing that they're doing now. They are doing her and another uh, community member. I'm so I think her name is Cheryl. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. Um, but together they come out with these enhancement packs for I think mostly Diamond Art Club paintings, um, popular paintings, or uh, maybe paintings that multiple people have asked for enhancement suggestions. That's why her group is really good for that. If you have a painting and you're not sure what to bling up. Uh, they can give suggestions for you. And then they also have these kits. So this is a kit that I do have in my stash, Sunflower Garden uh, by Donna Gelsinger. It's a Diamond Art Club painting. I'll pop a picture up uh, in editing now. And they have this enhancement set. That is a painting that I thought, you know, enhancements would look nice, but just the nature of the image, nothing was popping out at me in terms of how to enhance it and make it look good. Um, so when I saw she had this little set, I thought I would purchase it. So in this set, and I think the instructions are online, if I'm not mistaken, uh, on the website, it'll say, um, you know, for this diamond painting, you know, say DMC 310, you're going to put this one instead. Now that is not true. <laughs> you don't do that. But uh, the general gist is they're going to tell us the diamond painting on the canvas and where we're going to put this one and where we're going to put this one and where we're going to put these. Uh, so they have it all laid out nicely for you. So it looks like we've got some glitter drills and some green ABs. This is going to be beautiful. This is actually one of my favorite sparklers. I've used this in, I I think one of the gnome paintings I've done uh, after my surgery, I used this and it looked really pretty. It's called Daffodil. The thing to note too, if you didn't know, um, round diamonds and square diamonds are different sizes. So round diamonds measure 2.8 millimeters in diamond painting and the squares measure 2.5. So uh, if you didn't know, there is a bit of a difference. So when you buy sparklers, these ones are specifically for rounds. Uh, and then they also have sparklers for squares, which will be a tiny bit smaller, still round, but the, the width would be a little bit smaller. So when you're ordering, you just pay attention to that. Um, I think they do a really good job on their website. In the menu, you can uh, click on the drills um, header and then they have sorted by round and square diamonds. So if you stick to those kind of categories, then you'll, you won't get lost. This is a very pretty blue AB. I'm actually really excited that they've charted this and I can't wait to see where they put these because uh, I actually do have some of these, but I've not used them because I haven't yet had a painting where I think I could make it work. So I'm actually really excited that I um, that this comes with some of these silverettes. And then they also have these slivers, which are, as you can see, bigger. I think they take up probably three or four spaces uh, rather than two. Crystal green and blue we've got her original sparklers so that's just the original color it looks um, beautiful a couple more sparklers here light blue and then bubbles this is another special diamond that she came out with um, or provided sometime this year it just adds a different depth to diamond paintings they're kind they kind of look like a water bubble which I assume is why they're called bubbles so I can't wait to see how and where these um, diamonds go in that diamond painting, especially these slivers. I can't wait to see that. Now the hard part is going to be getting these all back in this bag. I was really happy to see this. I had wanted to try out one of her enhancement sets and follow her instructions. Um, and when I saw this one, you'll, you'll, maybe you'll feel the same way when I, when I showed you the picture of the diamond painting. It's just, it's, I don't want to say it's bland. It's not a bad thing. It's just like, for example, when I blinged out Benedict Blue, uh, post review should be on my channel for that. I That's the kit that I use the most bling in, and I just automatically knew where to put the bling. It just jumped out at me. But this time in painting, it doesn't. It's, it's more of like a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm super happy that Timoff made this package. And then all of these loose diamonds that were on screen, in the beginning, these are fairy dust, or I should say pixie dust. Um, you know what? I need a tray. Hold on. One of these days, I am going to remember a tray when I do diamond unboxings. It's going to come to me. This is a tray I grabbed. This is from Yellow Dog Designs. This is a new Canadian shop on Etsy I recommend checking out. This is actually a new design she sent me. 
Um, and she upgraded the line spacing because actually they recently changed printers and the lines on the very edge were a little bit funny. So she's fixed it. Uh, I let her know and she fixed it and sent me this one. So uh, a very nice basic 3D printed tray. Um, let's pour some of these out. So this pixie dust, these pixie dust diamonds, these were uh, added to her shop at time of filming, I think two weeks ago, at time the video goes up, who knows. Uh, I will probably try to get this video up during the fall DP along because Tima and DP with Sparklers is a sponsor of the event. But she uh, found her supplier uh, provided her with these pixie dust. Uh, for, for, you know, I don't usually like comparing, but they're basically Diamond Art Club's fairy dust diamonds. Um, they are the most beautiful diamonds ever, and I'm so happy that we're able to buy them from a small shop to add enhancements to our diamond paintings because we know um, Diamond Art Club doesn't offer that. Um, but see, you can see that glitter on here. So these, Tima calls them pixie dust. So they're, uh, she's chosen a different name out of respect. And they have this very subtle glitter um, effect. I showed you, where was it? Was it in here? I think it was in this one, right? Yeah. So this is what we call glitter diamonds, okay? You can see, uh, even though they're kind of upside down, it has this very noticeable gold glitter right on the top. So these in, in diamond painting are considered glitter drills. These have a more subtle glitter effect. It's almost like what I think is mica powder dusted on or kind of like a shiny eyeshadow, right? Dusted on uh, that matches the uh, color of the diamond. So whereas these glitter drills have gold glitter on the tops. So these fairy dust or pixie dust, uh, as um, they call them here, have a very subtle glitter. I absolutely love these. Uh, one fact is they they don't act like ABs. Uh, a lot of people know when you try to place ABs with pink wax or putty, it sticks to it. These work just like a normal diamond. Uh, diamond. So um, there's no kind of finickiness when you're placing diamonds. So that's a bonus right off the bat. But um, a very subtle glitter. And these look awesome. You can see that they are lining up right next to each other. So I'm not seeing any trash at all, to be honest. There's no tabs. Uh, tabs are little bits of plastic that sometimes can hang on the outside edge of a diamond. And if you have tabs, the squares will not line up nice like this. So right away, we can tell there's no tabs. I'm not seeing any holes on any of these diamonds or any kind of... I don't see anything in here I would pick out and put in a trash pail. So uh, these are great quality. Let's take a look at a round one. So what I did is I ordered a... I ordered different colors of both the squares and the rounds. Uh, Tima did put together a set, but because of um, the fact that I'm Canadian, it's a little bit more expensive. And I decided to go with some um, colors that I think I would use uh, more often. You know, I thought with the set, there's some colors in there maybe I wouldn't use. Uh, and I didn't want them to go to waste. So I decided to purchase different colors individually. And I kind of picked the colors that I tend to go towards when I am. Uh, let's do purple because purple is my favorite color. Um, yeah. Shake these. these trays work really nice. They do shake out the diamonds nicely. You can see that. Almost the entire tray is shaken out there. And I always put too many diamonds in the tray. Um, these are gorgeous. So you can see that very subtle glitter effect on the top as well. It's just very pretty. It's very subtle. Um, it's not kind of, you know, jumping out at you. It's just a very nice shine. And it just shines a little bit differently than our regular DMC numbers. Um, as far as tabs, I'm seeing a couple extra bits. That's normal. Uh, in most diamond bags of diamonds, you're going to have little extra dusty bits just from the machine that makes the diamonds. But you can see that they're lining up right next to each other and they look great. I'm seeing zero holes on the top, uh, no scratches or anything. So they look amazing. Now let me pour these back and then I'll just kind of show you all of the colors that I chose to go with. This is static is why these uh, last little stragglers don't want to go in the bag. Usually what I do when I get um, these and I sort them in that box, I'll show you my box in a minute there, um, but I um, put some dryer sheets into these bags before I put them away just to take down any static. So um, I'm going to have to organize these anyway. So let me quickly do this. I love how on the label she has 
a square and a, and a circle so you can kind of tell quite easily. There we go. So let's look at the squares. So I chose a few different colors in green. And you can see that subtle glitter on the tops of them. It matches whatever color the DMC is. So I think, I think they're awesome. So I got these three colors here. I got some pinks because usually, you know, I like enhancing flowers for one and a lot of flowers have some pinks in it. Also purples, very nice purple. I got some white because you can't go wrong with white. And then I got a blue and a yellow. As you can see, I went with kind of uh, more pastel-y type colors. I'm kind of wishing that I, I hadn't worked on Benedict Blue yet because I think I would have loaded it with fairy dust drills if, um, if Tima had these at the time I worked on it. So we've got the white and the purple over here. I've got the same, I tried to get the same colors in uh, both shapes just to make it easier. Definitely check out her website to see uh, all the options she has. And again, take a look at the set section. Um, if you wanna purchase a set, she put together a set, both square and round of these. Um, at time of filming, I'm not sure if it's sold out or not. Um, I did not check, but uh, definitely check out DP with sparklers. And I will show you my little box. I haven't shown it in a while. It is not a fancy box. So I, I actually have a video showing you how I made this in my, it should be in the, oh boy. I think it's in the other accessory uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. Uh, I will link it in the description of this video if you want to see. I purchased this, let me just zoom out a bit. I purchased this kind of photo box at Michael's. It has the lid. Of course it has the lid. So it's just one of those photo boxes at Michael's. And I also got grabbed some foam board at Michael's and this foam board came in a sheet like an eight by 11 size and I just cut it down and I did glue it in. So I just put a small, um, whatever, you know what I mean? Like I, I took glue and I did this <laughs> small amount and stuck it down. So these aren't going anywhere. They're stuck in there. And then for um, organizing, I organize them by color. I don't organize them by DMC. Uh, so for example, this box has just crystals. Um, because this box has empty space, I'm probably going to put fairy dust over here. So I'll just make a label with fairy dust and I'm going to put all the colors in one because it do doesn't need to be um, separated by color because there's not many of them. As you can see, these are all crystals. And for example, here, all of this green, I have quite quite a few different shades of green you can see. So um, I get my special diamonds mostly from DP with sparklers. I also get my crystals from Oraloa because they have a Canadian warehouse. Uh, I also have these couple containers from Mooney Made. Uh, that I always forget about some glitter drills that she carries when I bought a diamond painting. So this is kind of what I do. If you like this idea and you want to make something similar, check out the video. But also, uh, if you did not know, Imagi Crafts by Cindy is a relatively new Canadian small shop. And she's making uh, printed release paper as well as other diamond painting accessories. And she's made little divider cards like this that you could specifically use for this purpose. They look awesome. She has two different kinds. One kind is more of a flexible um, plastic and another kind is kind of like a credit card. So very stiff. Uh, take, I'll link her shop down below too. And um, so you can take a look if that's something you're interested in. There is a USA small shop that um, makes these boxes like perfectly. They look amazing. You know, they're very professional, but to get one shipped to Canada, I think was like really, really expensive, which is why I didn't do it. And I made the poor man's version. Um, but this works. You don't really need anything fancy uh, unless that's something that you like. Uh, check out a Craft for the dividers if you want to make it a little more uh, professional looking. But yeah, this is how I store my special diamonds. I have four of these boxes and I kind of just most of my special diamonds are crystals. I actually don't keep ABs. Um, then I've got my fairy dust and some glitter as well. Yeah, so that's that's it. So this is my haul from DP with Sparklers. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Let me know if you also, I better put this back. Let me know if you also grabbed any of her fairy dust diamonds, if you grabbed this set. Did you receive it yet? How do you like it? 
have you used any of these fairy dust diamonds from DP with sparklers in your diamond painting yet? I know they're brand new, but you never know. Somebody um, might have already started using them. So if that's you, let me know down below. I'd love to see a picture. Tag me in a picture on Instagram or uh, post it in the Facebook group. I license DP Fans Canada. Uh, everybody is welcome in that Facebook group. You do not need to be Canadian to join. We welcome everybody no matter where you are from. It's just a great group where we can actually interact a little bit more than, you know, on YouTube in the comment section. So uh, definitely check that out if you haven't already. Uh, head over to DP with Sparklers. She is an event sponsor. She has offered generously four $15 gift cards and one $25 gift card that I've been giving away already in a few weeks. Um, and then we still have a couple more to give away the rest of the events. So uh, definitely, if you have not taken a look at her shop, do so. Now, regarding shipping, this came USPS, which switches hands to Canada Post. I wish I had the invoice here. Shipping, I think, on her website was around $20. And um, I did have to pay customs this time. It is hit or miss. Uh, the customs fee was $21 for all of this. Uh, it's hit or miss. There are there are packages that I have never had to pay customs. And then once in a while, you just luck of the draw, you have to pay customs. So it's really a hit or miss. But because it's sent by USPS, we avoid um, extra ridiculous charges um, that you would get with other shipping companies like UPS. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, let me know down below. Don't forget to like this video before you head out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. And until the next video, happy diamond painting. Bye.